Okay, so in today's episode of Throttle Stop Garage, we're going to get transmission mounts made. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and, and created the paper, temp, the paper templates for the, uh, for the transmission cross member. Uh, you've seen this done before. It's a cardboard template. Uh, it's not all that exciting. So, you know, we've just uh, selected uh, an area where the transmission mount will work. All of the mounts that I had, uh, including a, like a, the stock Mustang transmission mount that came with the transmission and you know, a bunch of hot rod parts and things that I had, uh, none of them are going to turn out to work. Uh, <laughs> the main problem is uh, making sure I have enough clearance for exhaust tube routing and a good connection between the floor, the frame, and the mount. So that's, in essence, what's going to happen here. So we're going to fold this out of 16 gauge, which for metric folk is 1.64 millimeter plate. So that 1.64 millimeter plate will be what we're making this out of. Uh, it's four inches wide for no reason other than that will work. Uh, I'll have to reconstruct the plate that the transmission mounts on, but the wide side goes to the frame. Okay, the narrow side goes towards the transmission. The floor is level, which then gets me airy in here for things like exhaust, uh, exhaust tube uh, to go through. So you do have to sort of work out a lot of the details as you're going. Then what I'll do is put some captive nuts on the inside. And actually, I'll, even on this side, I will include uh, some method of, of hanging an exhaust bracket. So another uh, captive nut on the inside. So we'll, we'll get all these fabricated up. They don't really take all that long to do. Um, some pretty simple folds. I'll just, uh, uh, well, why don't I just get to work?
Okay, there you can see the uh, the finished folded part. We're just getting ready to throw a couple of captive nuts on the. Um, these, of course, are the cross member. Well, the body part of the cross member that is going to go uh, and hold up the transmission. Anyway, here's a problem I always have, which is uh, how to get these uh, captive nuts so that when I flip them over, they're nice and in the center of the hole. It's you know they're always doing this on you. It kind of drives me a bit nuts because I like to have things precise. Um, so here's a here's a quick tip. I just took a little bit of brass. Uh, I mean I don't have a lathe. <laughs> I do have a grinder though. I just ground it into a rough cone. Again, that's going to keep things. Now I ground it at a size that is going to keep. Let's see if I can get that turned around so you can see it. Um, it keeps it centered in the hole. Okay, so I've grounded at a size that keeps it centered in the hole and just registers the nut. Now I've taken the finish off of two flats on the nut. It really is all it needs. So I'm going to put those into positions where I can actually hit them. Uh, hold the nut down right there and weld it in. And that's going to be finished. Right? There, perfect. It'll fit right in. And then if we just hold, we take it off of there, we don't move anything. Oh, I moved it. Yeah, it's centered in the hole. <laughs> okay, let's see how it works.
ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ